Are you just going to scroll past me without saying, Yee claw? <laughs> Yee claw? Well, howdy there, partner. We're going to be taking a little dive down the old Western life where, well, you know, we govern our south side here. That's right, everyone. We are going to the wild, wild west of the memes and the good ones. So sit back, relax, and, well, enjoy. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit like, and buckle up because we're going to the rodeo. Shower thoughts. Just realized cowboys go, yee-haw, and ninjas go, hee-yaw. Interesting, so to say, very much so. But, you know what? Ninjas abide by a law. What, what law do cowboys go by? Their own law. If you shoot the Nerf gun indoors one more time, I'm taking it. <laughs> My son. <laughs> oh, yeah? What? Do it. Make me. It's always the answer. <laughs> well... We're talking about freaking Old West. Not really this Old West, but Cowboys. Super Bowl pictures. Throwing a gem. I thought the Cowboys this last year. I really did. Thought they were going to go all the way, but they didn't. Maybe this next year. I don't know. But normal cat. Meow. Texas cat. Meowdy. Meowdy duty. Well, Texas cat, dude, how you liking the heat? Are you still catching mice? Are you catching snakes? Because... You know, down there, dude, there's different things you can catch. <laughs> which lasso did you use? Oh, yeah, which one did you? If you know, you know, because this is the old uh, Photoshop here. If you've ever used it, absolutely, it's pretty fun. But you don't lasso the wrong thing. Cowboys can't be sexy. Wrong! Check out this gem. Cowboys, is there ever going to be a time where cowboys don't exist? Because... As far as I, I know, dude, cowboys are going li to live long after the, uh, everyone's going to need a cowboy, man. There's beef to be raised, hay bales to be thrown. Shoot, dude. Actual pick of me out hunting memes for you ungrateful creatures. That's right. I just wrangled up this old grizzly bear. Maybe, but um, what is this out there on the Yellowstone? You out there huckling, freaking chuckling, duckling? <laughs> Real men do it in one trip. This isn't even real men doing it in one trip. This is an old timer that is getting mad at the one guy tossing the bales, organizing the bales. It's like, dude, I'm a one-man crew. All you're doing is driving the tractor. Quiet kid reaching in his backpack. Me, who is also a quiet kid reaching for my backpack. Slow down there, buckaroo. Town ain't big enough for the both of us. Now, don't say I didn't give you candy, boy. Because you know I gave you candy. I'm a secondhand vegetarian. Cows eat grass. I eat cows. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm a second care. I'm a secondhand vegetarian too. How many of you are secondhand vegans out there, vegetarians? Because, dude, I'm a freaking grass mowing eating machine. You eat you eat grass for a living? Ooh, dude, you taste the best on the grill. Cowboys then <laughs> versus now. Uh, there was a thing back in the day of moving out west. That was a real thing, and you got the person on the left. Well, now when somebody says moving out west, you get what you see on the right. I reckon here, boy, that it's snack time. Oh, do you, boy? You think it's snack time now, huh? Why don't you just take that, that hat off of yours? Put it on the bed. Don't hang it up. Put it on the bed. See what kind of luck it brings you. <laughs> I just wanted to say, hey... Now, I love, dude, we were always guinea pigs of freaking throwing hay bales. Always. Used to hate it. Got older, don't mind it too much. I never get asked anymore because I think it's all machine stuff. But, dude, tossing bales is the greatest character building afternoon you will do. Guarantee, mark my words, they have been marked. <laughs> WD-40 for men. Actually, you know, dude, some people wouldn't mind the smell of this. I don't mind the smell of, uh... <sighs> I guess the car garage, it's not the worst. I don't know if, you know, I, people are buying this, so that's my point. People are going to buy it. It's a good gift. Worst case, Ontario. Hold my juice and watch this. Check this out. It's going to get wild. I will say, uh, if you've ever been to the rodeo, man, and watching the little kids, the little buckaroos go on and, uh, dude, ride the sheep. It's entertaining, dude. It, like, got to give it to those young kids, too, man. They go out and they slay. <laughs> You talk so much shit. 
your horse doesn't even like you. Puts you down into the, the old crud and the mud and the, the crap, huh? Ever fall off a horse? I've been close, but never fell off a horse. Rode a bunch, but never got up my back on the ground like this in the crud. Behold the future of epic drinking games. Yeah, I mean, if there's a motor on there, I don't mind it. It's kind of cool, but dude, then now they got the Yeti motor coolers. That, like, that's the next big thing. This is cool, but this is 1800s technology here. Gen Z will never understand the pain and embarrassment of a group of cowboys out and you're forgetting your salsa from New York City. <laughs> he gets his salsa from New York City. You guys, check this out. Dude, hey. Hey, tell them, tell them where you get your salsa from, dude. <laughs> you never had the real stuff, have you? What in tarnation, hooting, hollering, belt buckle, freaking pant holding thing is this? Dirty son of a gun. Um, show this to grandma, you know, show your uh, God loving grandma this and she's going to, she'll send you. Get ready for Hill Mary's. They're coming up. You are not prepared for the wrath of rooting, tooting Vladimir Putin. Um, well, he's been around for a long, long time. Um, not really too worried about the dude. Well, every day, there's the new stupidest thing of all time, and this might be it. First solid marble cowboy hat in history. And you spent money on it. How much money did you spend on the all-marble car marble hat, cowboy hat, and how much does it weigh? And then you break it. Yeah, good luck. Cowboy, 19 years, horse kicked. <laughs> That baby shoes story, this is the shortest, saddest story you ever told. This is, dude, there's a country album freaking written on this one, man. So sad, I don't even know if we've had that album written, but Cowboys Can't Be Sexy. Ooh, I bet you feel dumb right now. Ooh, freaking John Hamster here. John Wayne the Hamster. <laughs> Ain't no crime too big for this little sheriff. I can come in. I wrangle them up like the best of them. What are you going to do? Paw me? You're going to paw me to death there, little one? Is that your goal? I'm watching Family Matters, and this is only season two. Ah, what do you got going on here? Mr. Steve Urkel. Dude, I haven't seen Steve Urkel stuff in quite some time. And uh, keep going, young Urkel. Only gets better from here. <laughs> the town is barely big enough for him. Well, the problem is it is big enough because he eats the other ones around him. He makes it big enough for him. You eat who's around you, well, you just absorb them. You absorb their land, their good stuff, their horses, their cattle. Husband, no more dogs or cats. Me, no worries. I have something better in mind. You ever heard of Daisy, the uh, the young calf we're bringing in? Manager, be nicer to people at work. Me, <laughs> or what, you yellow bella? Think you can come in here, tell me how to ran, bring me down? This is my land, my salon. Better sit down and get ready to play some cards, you hear? Save a horse. Ride an emotional roller coaster. Is that, uh, what's his name? The comedian Matt, Matt Reif? Rifle? Save a horse, ride an emotional roller coaster. Dude, I think a real cowboy doesn't have time to ride an emotional roller coaster. There's so much work to do. Dude, you just keep working. Skinwalker, Texas Ranger. Some of you right now are going, finally the truth has been told. It's finally out. We finally got the truth. Or did we? Because I don't know. Chuck Norris is a badass, man. I don't think Chuck Norris is a freaking skinwalker. Chuck Norris, if anything, is a Sasquatch. Think twice? Brother, I don't even think once. I just freaking go for it. And then what the heck, dude? Is that an egg? Like, I like the whole picture here, but then you, you got to throw in a freaking egg? Where the button should be? Again, though, cowboys don't have an opportunity to think twice. You don't even think once. You just go for it. You don't know the meaning of hard work until you spend the summer bailing hay. Ah, oh, dude. I just don't, like, here's a perfect picture. You got the old man driving and the young crew freaking hauling. Wreck your back. Wreck your fingers if you forget gloves. But hey, dude. Hey. Hey. Literally, hey. <laughs> Hooting is a gateway drug to hollering. Hooting and hollering and hipping and haying, yipping and yaying. Probably is, but you know what? If you hoot and you holler, you're having a good time. Therefore, get your hooting on and get your hollering going. Five minutes into the Wild West and chill, and he gives you this look. <laughs> Come on over here, Betsy. 
You think we, I, I just won you in a poker game? Come on now, Batsalu. Use caution. Danger. A horse is like a very powerful dirt bike with opinions and a flight instinct and a fear of plastic bags. <laughs> uh, fear of plastic bags. Dude, the worst? Only time I almost fell off a horse. Let go of the reins, man. It was split reins. And next thing I know, he was jumping on his own reins and getting pissed. They said 50 bales of hay. That's all we got to do today. And 50 bales is an absolute... Bu- oh, that's 200. You times it by four minimum. And that's how, that's how you gauge your day of work right there. It's so funny that spaghetti westerns are called that because they're directed by Italians. Imagine if people started car- calling Marvel movies Hamburger Shonen. <laughs> what? Maybe. Spaghetti westerns, dude. Any western. I don't even care, dude. Just good times, man. John Wayne, legend. Me after leaving Texas Roadhouse, eating all the free bread at the table. Time to go wrangle some cattle. This is a cute little kid right here. Shoot, dude. Freaking baby pictures. Somebody say that. <laughs> don't claim to be a country music fan if you don't know who this is. Well, I reckon that's a little, uh, what was that Wild Bill there over over on the, the piano there? Cowboys mosey up to the bar at a saloon in Tuscosa, Texas, 1907. No way. Dude, what a time, man. Like, what a freaking time to be alive. The only things you got to worry about is somebody calling you a, a freaking chicken, like a liar, a thief. You get called one of those, man. That's a sin. Don't be ashamed of who you are. That's your parents' job. Hey, dang straight. Never be ashamed of who you are. Be who you are. And yeah, let your parents do it because, hey, you know what? There's enough worrying going on in the world. Just let it rip. Don't call yourself a country fan if you don't know who this is. I'm, you know, I don't know if this is good or not, you guys, but apparently Beetlejuice 2 is coming out. I have a feeling it's going to be another musical. Not into those. If you like them, you'll probably like the new Beetlejuice. Just a couple cowboys out shopping. How do you keep that hat on your dog? Now, I'm I'm always skeptical about you guys, everyone buying it. Their, uh, their dog, a bunch of suits and freaking stuff. But if you're going to do it, man, the hat might not be the worst way to go. <laughs> I reckon this be the skin of a no-good feller beller. Heavens to Batsy shoot. Yeah, that's what you get for being a little yellow belly lying mother trucker there, good feller beller. You be out here stealing and cheating and lying at the gambling table, boy. My gooch is raw <laughs> Well, I guess if I rode a horse now, I could relate with this book. Because, dude, you do get a little sore from riding a little ride in the saddle all day. But, uh, you know, you're 19, you're 20, you're 25. You're probably good, dude. You're clean bean, ready to freaking go. But starring Buster Taint, go get her. Them. You can't just yeehaw away from your problems. Me. Yeehaw, mother trucker. Holy, you're the yee to my haul. Woo-hee. That's a great Valentine's gift. Get it, get on out there. Put the Valentine's Day in the yeet to my haw. Girl, I live in Texas. Come visit me. Me. I have to dig out my croc boy. Boots. Her. What? <laughs> me. Croc fest, dude. Croc fest. It's gonna it's really gonna be a thing. I the dude, there's a new croc shoe that comes up in the timeline every pff, two or three days. There's like a new croc thing that I'm like, wait, what? Well, speak of the devil when you have a showdown at high noon, but it's really hot. Really hot out. Well, if it's really hot out and you're rocking these, dude, go with the Crocs, man. At least the Crocs, you get the four dig on her, and you can you can bust up the uh, pistol duel real quick. You can do it. Saw this cloud and thought it looked like a girl sleeping, so one thing led to another, and I sketched this. That's a cowboy hat, actually. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Jessica. Come on, that that really is. Like, you could have just simplified it, and it was a cowboy hat. Are you really just going to scroll past without saying, See how you going to do that, are you? One thing I got to respect about the, uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe it is the cowboy culture, however you want to say it, like the farm culture. Dude, the get-togethers, man, are legit. Anytime you get together at a farm, a ranch, a, you know, something like that with a barbecue, dude, it is going to be one great day. <laughs> Howdy, partners. It's me. Gun safety, Dwight. Yeehaw, Dwight. 
Never leave Dwight out of a freaking episode because Dwight, dude, is we all need Dwight in our life. And uh, thank you, Dwight. I just can't remember what exactly is going down in this one. For the first time, I'm stumped on The Office. God grant me the serenity to accept the vibes that aren't rootin' tootin'. <laughs> please, go, God grant me the serenity, please. I might be hooting and hollering, but I don't know if I'm rootin' tootin' yet. Choo, cheese, choo, golly. Oh, sweet mother, man. Relationship goals. There you go. This, oh, man. Much respect for these guys. This is, uh, I love it. I love it. This one, this, uh, mm, great topper on the episode here. <laughs> no, it doesn't affect my baby. Look at, my mom did it and look at the way I turned out. Huh? Look at the way I turned out. 30 years later. We're going back in time, folks. Shoot, laws don't abide by me. Are you sure about that? What is this? Red Dead Redemption, though. Great game. Great game. But all right. All right. That does it for this rootin' tootin' hollering son of a gun of a time. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know. The Western theme is gold. You know what? In tar nation. So you guys enjoy the the old Western memes because maybe one day we go back to the outlaw times. The West world will come back. I don't know. But either way, great times. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And as always, you want to keep coming back for more because you never know what's going to be next here on the Deve channel. You better get out of Dodge, boy. What in tarnation is this now? You got a whole kitty, kitty house made out of cardboard, do you, boy? <laughs>